What's up guys, so this is gonna be a one take video. Right now what I'm doing is I'm walking the Redfoot habitat and I just found three baby naturally hatched Redfoot tortoises. These guys hatched here in the ground naturally in the state of Florida. Now for the most part, a lot of the eggs and pretty much all reptiles that are kept in captivity uh, that don't come from the state of Florida of course, uh, that lay the eggs in the ground, we like to remove them and artificially incubate them for the best chance of survival for these tortoises and all these reptiles that we keep. Uh, but Redfoots come from a very similar climate to that here in Florida. Uh, they come from South America. Venezuela, uh, Brazil, all the surrounding areas in the Amazon. So they do get kind of these floods, they get these rainy weathers, lots of more higher humidity. Uh, so these guys escaped predation. Uh, they handled all the floods and all the rains that we got from the Hurricane Ian that just passed. And as you can see, they hatched out. So these guys have been out for a while because I do not see any yolks or anything um, under, obviously in their, their shells. They have a little bit of a uh, surface level mole as well. Um, so like not mold, sorry, fungus that is growing. So that means that these guys have been out for a while. I found one in the Aldabra habitat and then I looked around and I was like, there's gotta be more. And as you can see, we got these three little beautiful ones hatching with beautiful shell growth. Um, this guy's missing a little bit of the back of the shell, but it's normal. It is technically now a captive animal, but uh, born in a more naturalistic setting than if it was in an incubator. Um, here are some of the adults uh, that we got here in the group. And these guys were living amongst them they were just kind of walking around and doing their thing. So I'm gonna continue looking for more. Um, I don't think that I will find any more because usually the average clutches that I've been getting are anywhere from like three to six. And obviously not all are meant to hatch. And since I missed this clutch, um, these guys um, didn't all make it probably, uh, but you know, three out of whatever was laid is probably a very, 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 very good odds and a very good chance of survival for these guys. So um, I'm very happy that this happened obviously because it's three more tortoises that you know i was able to find i'm gonna look inside their habitat here inside their shelter to see if i find anything else and um like i said this is something that doesn't happen too often but redfoots uh yellowfoots certain other species um can kind of handle this kind of weather so it is okay in this situation but like for example socatas galapagos aldabras um, leopard tortoises may hatch um, it's, you know, and if you're very, very lucky, but it's a very high risk to reward ratio. Um, Redfoots, like I said, it's something that I missed. I'm always checking for nests um, and I missed this nest, but it is what it is. You know, I'm happy I was able to find them. And um, it's kind of just a short video. I wanted to share this experience with you guys. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below. And as always, if you want to see more content and posts, check me out on Instagram, my TikTok at Red Reptiles. Thank you so much for watching.